The last record, Kiss Each Other Clean, was still kind of working through that. It was It's a pretty angry record. Yep. I mean, there's some ballads, mm -hmm. but they're still pretty subversive ballads. <laughs> um, whereas this one felt a bit more relaxed. Um, they're mostly, there are love songs. On, well, I mean, most of the songs I try to include, you know, they're human experience songs where, you know, there's love and disenchantment with places, you know, all our, our stuff. Um, <laughs> Um, and so, but there were sort of looser, more relaxed tunes. There's a narrative thing. There's usually mm -hmm. a lot of place names. Um, uh, it just felt more relaxed. And you, so you, I, we approached it that way, yeah. recording. You do seem to find, I mean, as you said, even, you know, with Shepherd's Dog or Kiss Each Other Clean, there is some loose thematic yeah, thread it's, it's that seems to find <laughs> its way. Gotcha. That's <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's it's a <laughs> it comes down to this, Scott. <laughs> uh, I actually, w I mentioned before you asked. I, I write all the time, not with yeah. a particular record in mind, um, and so you end up having all these disjointed, loose songs laying around. And so the I, the trick comes in. Um, okay, it's time to put out a record. What? Well, which songs are we going to do? I don't know. Um, with the shepherd's dog, I've discovered that I had a lot of songs with a dog in them. <laughs> 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 and so that's how, that's how they got on there. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, and so it's almost like a Sergeant Pepper thing where you say it's they're they're a piece, and so everyone says, "Okay, cool, it's a piece." <laughs> but it really they, the songs don't really have Just anything. A, yeah, a random it's, collection. Yeah, it's a piece because you say it's a piece. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I've gotten lucky. Uh, there's a serendipity going on with um, some of the images um, I tend to write about over and over again, yeah. and so they they keep popping up in different songs. Mm -hmm. So it mm -hmm. feels like a continuation. It's a lot of serendipity involved. Well, I mean, this this record in particular, the, the new record, um, I mean, there's you know Motown sounding sort of chord yeah. progressions. There's, um, you know, I, I I think it's Desert Babbler, which sounds to me like Blue Eyed Soul. <laughs> it's um, pretty close. I mean, it's really close. I mean, there's there's a lot of things going on at one time. On on first blush, I I always felt like the chord changes felt like uh, Mercy Mercy Me, the ecology. You mm -hmm. know, or maybe yeah. it's just the beat. But then um, when you throw the uh, pedal steel on top of it, it makes it feel like a country song, you know, mm -hmm. but all these genres or f musical forms, you know, they don't develop in a vacuum. They're yeah. all so closely related mm -hmm. and it's fun to, to draw lines, um, yeah. you know, between the, the different forms.